My name is Jun Kim, co-director of 3D feature animation called Glow. Hi, uh, I'm the other co-director, Spike Lim. It's about a, a boy who is about like 14 years old kid. He's an orphan kid. And the story starts when he meets a girl named Nanda. And he realizes he has something supernatural power, which is glowing heart. And he literally, his heart glow. So whenever his heart glows, he gets like super power, but he never knows where and how he got it. But the queen of that uh, city has a great interest in the boy, sending him a journey to a magical forest called Drasma. So it's his, that little kid journey to find out why and how he got the glowing heart in that uh, uh, Drasma. Along the journey, he happens to meet a special creature called Jingus. Those are like uh, one-third human and one-third plants and one-third like magical energy running through their body. So it's, there, uh, it's like you know, his journey to find out why and how he got that uh, glowing heart. At the end, he realized he got, he got it because he's chosen one to save the world. But at the end, he get all the help from his friend and those special creature called Jingus and he saved the world. We're not dealing with like Pacific like culture, so I think a uh, problem with like global warming and like situation with nature being destroyed, destroyed and everything. It this is I think it's an issue for like all human beings. So uh, through through this movie, we like to express the concept of um, uh, like loving nature, like loving each other. So this is. This doesn't like stay in one culture, but it should be known, known for uh, everyone in the world. So uh, to make it like English movie, I had to come here to make it happen. Growing up in Korea, like watching Disney American animation, and at the same time uh, watching uh, Japanese animation, so it's sort of like mixture of yeah Western and Eastern. Yeah, too mainstream of animation. So this is naturally how I came up with June and Patrick and the other writer uh, helped me with the concepts, but basically all the artworks, artworks are, are done by me. We believe this production itself is gonna take around two years. And so starting from now, I guess, uh, we're hoping this movie to be released in 2014. I think it's been great. We met a lot of people who are interested in our project and they saw our uh, little clip of uh, GLOW and they, they saw uh, like big possibilities. Nowadays, people with all the mass uh, media and fast internet, things like that, people are looking for their own type of taste of movies which means they, they're getting far away from mass production, which is like blockbuster movies. So blockbuster movies pretty much like has the same form over and over, so people are getting tired of it. So they're seeking their own style, their own taste, in terms of plot and story and performing, things like that. So those like mass production, which means like block, anti-blockbuster movie, which is an independent film, is getting more and more popular and I think that's going to be like new, um, uh, new aspect of um, uh, filmmaking. It's not gonna, going to stay only like minor. It's going to be one of like mini major. I think it's a really good chance for even actors to play in an independent film. So instead of just acting commercially in a very certain route, they can just explore their emotion and uh, you know their acting style. So. I think it's a good advantage for both independent filmmakers and actors to participate in an independent film.